Alright, what's going on guys? Luca here with another PvP build for the new patch, Scraps of Fate. I'm on Magicka Dragonite. And DK's got a huge buff with the new chains, which provides no major berserk for 4 seconds, 10% extra flat damage. Not sure why they buff DK's. They were and they are still and they will be probably still the best in slot class for PvE and PvP. So there's no logic in that to be honest. Build wise, with Rally Crown the back bar. Which gives us almost 1.6k crit resistance and almost 300 weapon spell damage, really nice. Instead of Mara's Balm, not really needed on a DK, a defensive set. And then front bar, probably the strongest proc set out there, Red Mountain. Look at the tooltip, 10k flame damage and it's completely unbuffed. Has only 8 seconds cooldown and then 1 second delay. With fossilize, or more shattering rocks in this case. If you see this small Red Mountain eruption on the ground, means the projectile will land after one second to the target. At that moment you can simply stun your target with Shattered Rocks, which is unblocked when undodgeable. Like this Red Mountain will guarantee it. Really nice. Combined with Marcunius Mythic for extra resistance and weapon spell damage. Alternative Death Deer's Feed works too. Trainee as filler for extra HP. And Bloodspawn for extra tankiness and ulti region as monster set. Armor types, three light armor pieces. One heavy chest for extra resistance and three medium armor pieces. We don't need any impen pieces, that's why I'm three sturdy pieces. And for well fitted, you could go with reinforced here on the chest for a little bit more resistance. On the jewelry, still food infused. Even if they buffed bloodthirsty, I didn't test bloodthirsty so far, I will do it in the next builds, but I had already everything in infused. The advantage of infused is still it buffs your healing too. Bloodthirsty will give you the bonus only on the target itself, but should give you in total more damage. Then on the front bar, two maces for extra penetration. Even if you use Chorus of Armor's ultimate, but this is not a ulti region based build, means our uptime on Chorus of is really low. We need the extra penetration. And then main hand, offhand sharpened, flame poison chant. At back bar instead of sword and bot, I've been using the eye stuff now. In defending for extra resistance, with the ice stuff we have just the possibility to gain Magicka back with heavy attacks. On the glyphs by the way, full weapon spell damage. The damage glyphs on the jury are hybrid now, they give weapon and spell damage. The only difference is the Magicka one gives Magicka recovery. 10 without infused, like this we are at 46 Magicka region here. Stamina region not really needed on this build. But if you need more stamina region, go with the other morph which gives stamina region. Did some tests with a new set called Nick Sounds Howl. It's decent, it gives major courage and applies major coward dice, but the duration is way too low. Even with this build I had around 7 seconds duration per 1k weapon damage, you gain 1 second duration of major coward dice and major courage. And I need to do even a fully charged heavy attack to proc it, medium attack is not enough. For this build it was not worth. I will test it with other builds, maybe it works there. Alternative to Red Mountain, you can still go with Ray of Fire or Burning Spare Wolf, that kind of stuff. And instead of Rallying Cry, if you prefer more tankiness, go with Mars Balm. For more damage, let's say you're in small scale, you have a Hebot on your side or just good players in general, go with Zahn here or even Balrog for extra pen. Skills wise, biggest change is probably chains on the front by and self engulfing flames. It not only provides major berserk, the 10% extra flat damage of 4 seconds, I also use it as a gap closer, especially effective against all those shrieking sorcerers, and deeds even a good amount of damage. It's not just a global cooldown waste. As single target dots, the venomous claw, what else? Multiple best spamble, shattering rocks, SCC and facts are eating, flames of oblivion, furish asleep, back bar, elemental susceptibility for major breach. Like this, we need to use the Brutality Potions, this one here, with Stamina, Brutality and the Weapon Crit. But not a big deal, the sustain is way more than enough, we don't really need to try the Potions. Race Against Time and Snare Removal for Minor Force and Major Expedition. If you don't have access to Psychic Skill Line in general, go with the new Mist Form. But I didn't test it so far, so no clue how clunky the animation really is. Then Vigor self heal, Volatile Armor is still this morph here for extra re damage. Calculating Blood Dispersed here and Corrosive Armor. Then Ray Stunner, 
Probably not the best choice. Extra weapon, spare damage, magic and stamina. Better option would be probably Breton, High Elf, or even something like Nord or Imperial for extra tankiness. Mundus the Atto, definitely needed for the Magicka region. Clockwork City Display for more Magicka region. 28 points in Magicka and the rest in health. Like this, we are at around 30 kHP, which is more than enough. Potions, like I said, the weapon power potions. If I'm really under pressure, I still go with the Tricep potions. CPs, same as before. Daddy Aim, Mastered Arms, Exploit and Ironclad, Red One, Sustained by Suffering, Slippery, Celebrity and Pain Refuge. Combination, pretty simple. Start to pre-buff yourself with Flames of Oblivion, Race Against Time. Then apply Elemental Susceptibility with Volatile Armor, Venomous Claw, Chains, Shattering Rocks into Leap. If you don't have Leap up, use more to whip spams in between. That's it with the video, thanks for watching, enjoy the gameplay footage, don't forget to sub my channel if you like and comment below, I would really appreciate it guys, and I'll see you hopefully in the next one, peace. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know, glass half full or empty. And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens To tell us things that we've been